hard to believe this is essentially the base model. Look at it. It's almost identical to the Golf R. That might be a bad thing for the R, but if you can't stretch to its price range, or you're not interested in the go faster bits, this could be a great intermediate step. In Australia, the Golf range kicks off with the 110 TSI Life, and then it steps up to the 110 TSI R line. It is pretty expensive, but you do get a high level of standard features. Even so, I can't help but think it wasn't that long ago when the Golf GTI was priced at around the 40k mark. This is slightly more than that. Like with pretty much everything lately, prices are getting ridiculous. One thing that bugs me with the R-Line is the fake quad outlet exhausts. These aren't necessary in my opinion. You see lots of cars and even SUVs coming out lately with fake quad outlet exhausts. It's a bit silly. At least here, this is basically the rear bumper bar from the Golf R. So it comes from good intentions, I guess. The interior is very refined. Lots of quality, soft touch materials, no squeaks or rattles, and twin digital screens across the dash. Piano black trim for the dash and console isn't ideal because it shows the dust and grubby fingerprints very quickly. But these sports seats are fantastic. I like the pattern layout too. It adds a bit of character. Rear passengers get similar shaped seats, a center armrest, and what's that, two and a half cup holders, as well as semi-climate control. That's actually very unique for this class. Legroom is a bit tight in the middle position, as you'd expect in this class, but overall it feels spacious enough and comfortable compared with some of its rivals. More of that quality trim is used back here as well. Boot space is not bad at 374 litres. Some rivals offer a lot less, but some, such as the Subaru WRX, offer a lot more. This is a practical space anyway, thanks to its high floor and tie hooks and side pockets for securing loose items. There's also a 12 volt socket on the wall. Underneath the floor, you'll find a space saver spare wheel. As for the engine, it might only produce 110 kilowatts, but it goes really well. It proves you don't need a stack of power to have fun. This is actually a quick little car, and VW has thankfully installed a conventional 8-speed automatic. Although dual-clutch units can be absolutely brilliant in sports cars, a general hatchback like this is better suited to a torque converter unit in my opinion. Out on the road, the Golf feels very refined and almost premium, and in fact in Australia, the Golf was recently moved up to the premium small car segment, so it competes with the likes of the BMW 1 Series, Audi A3 and Mercedes A-Class. I think that's mainly due to prices which have recently crept up for the Golf. I mean, prices have crept up for pretty much all models, but for the Golf and it's pushed it up into the higher bracket, a bit like the Subaru WRX. But technically it goes up against the non-premium rivals like the Corolla, i30, Kia Cerato and so on. And against those, yeah, this definitely feels more refined in terms of the drive experience. There's no rattles or creaks or anything like that. There's more soft touch, touch materials to help that as well. The cabin acoustics are very, very good. The ride and handling, it walks that nice balance between tautness, it feels sort of rubbery and it's catching the bumps nicely, even at high speed, but then it's still quite comfortable. I would say that this handles a lot better than any of those non-premium rivals as well including the Mazda 3 which uses a torsion beam rear suspension setup. This features a proper comprehensive multi-link setup at the back. That does help with overall stability especially when you're going around corners at some speed like this and you hit some bumps. It's able to maintain complete stability better than a torsion beam setup in my opinion. The handling is quite nice, it feels good, especially considering this is pretty much the base model Golf 110 TSI. It does have the R-Line pack, which is mainly a, a sporty body kit, so it kind of looks like the R-Line, as I said. But it, it handles really nice. It handles like a, a hot hatch, it just doesn't have that barking engine of a hot hatch. But as you'll find out in the performance testing coming up soon, it is surprisingly quick. Yes, around that corner, we're going 100 kilometers an hour, it's a 100 kilometer an hour speed zone. There's a few bumps on that corner and it just remained very stable and sure footed. This powertrain is very efficient and I don't just mean in terms of fuel efficiency. 
although we're averaging eight liters per 100 right now. It was at about 6.8 before I did the performance testing. I'm more talking about power efficiency in terms of how every part is built with very low tolerance. So there's no slack in the drivetrain, like even this transmission, the drive shafts, everything is putting the power straight to the road as in you know the shortest route possible basically. Now you do have a few different driving modes to choose from. You just hit this button down here called mode. And you've got eco, comfort and sport and individual as well, which is pretty good for a base model. And you've also got the D and S modes just for the transmission. So you can put it in S mode and it will change gear a bit uh, sooner in terms of down changing and hold gear change upshifts for a bit longer so it revs a bit higher. You've also got paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. It's a very rapid transmission as you'd expect. Downshifts almost instantly. And upshifts very smooth and rapid as well. Being a Golf though, it's also very practical. So it's easy to see out of. You've got good visibility. You've even got a little window in the side there in the A-pillar so you can see. I mean, you can't see much out of that. But if there is something there, you'll see it. But you've got good visibility between the pillar and the mirror as well. And then good visibility out the back too. All right, let's switch over now to the performance testing and see what it goes like. 